back and we've made our mission to Bevmo to get some pour spouts and I just want to show you now how you can free pour drinks just like all the bartenders that you see on a busy shift uh, without having to use shot glasses or pour counters. So, just take a little shot glasses, shot glasses, take a little pour spouts out of here that we got and remember I got two of them. We got one that counts just so you can see kind of how it counts into a a one ounce marked glass. And then I got some speed pourers. These are more likely the ones that you're going to be using in your bar. So I'll open these things up and need two because I got two bottles. Okay. Alright. So this is the one that has ball bearings in here, and what it is is when you turn the bottle over, these ball bearings will glug down and it'll stop automatically at one ounce. So it kind of sucks, but bar managers like to use them. It's just a way for them to control their liquor count. Uh, hopefully you don't have these in your bar, but just in case, got one of these. This is your kind of just standard pour spout. Uh, they're not usually really cool, pretty pink like this, but this is one that just free pours, and uh, you can uh, count uh, however much you need. Now with the bottles, these are just bottles that I saved. You can, like I said, have a couple people come over and save some bottles, or you can just go dumpster diving. I mean, you can go behind a bar or restaurant where they throw all their glassware out, and you can just go grab a couple bottles. And if you feel all sketched out, you want to feel like a bum digging around in somebody's glass, then just ask the manager. Just go and go, hey, you guys got some empty bottles that I could borrow. They probably got a, a, you know, a whole bin of them that they haven't even taken out yet. Now I got a one liter size bottle and then a 750 milliliter size bottle. Doesn't matter which one you use. The tops are exactly the same, but you want to use one of these. Either a one liter, which would probably be preferable because these are the sizes that you have in a bar as a one liter bottle. And then the 750 milliliter, these are generally the ones that you see in the stores. But the tops on them are the same size. But you got to get one of these. You don't want to go any bigger than the one liter because like the Costco or Super Mega Store jumbo size ones, the tops are too big and these pour spouts aren't going to fit. So you know the one liter, the 750 milliliter will work and you can just fill them up with water because alcohol is mostly water anyway. So it's the exact same consistency. It pours the exact same way. And people go, well, how can you learn pouring with water? Don't you know how to, I mean, don't you have to taste the drinks and know what they taste like? It's like, no. When was the last time you saw a bartender make a bunch of drinks and then come down the line like, okay, those are good, send them out. Right, you don't, you don't get to taste your drinks. You'd be wasted in an hour and your customers would be pissed that their drinks down a big fat sip. So you have to go on knowing how to just count and know how much you're putting into these things. Now you've probably heard people say, or maybe you haven't, but there's bartenders will refer to it as a count. So there's the pour count. And what they're talking about is the pace at which you're counting while you're pouring a bottle of booze. And basically, every single one of those counts, and it's not like four seconds. I mean, that's kind of the, the misconception, it's four seconds. It's actually fast, it's like one, two, three, four. And basically every one of those counts equals one quarter of an ounce. Because I'm going to show you guys a four count, one ounce shot. And this is probably what 99% of bartenders do. Every once in a while you go, no, 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 man, a three count is a perfect one ounce shot. Honestly, you can count however the hell you want. As long as you're accurate, it doesn't matter how the hell you count. But if you're a three count, one ounce shot guy, then it's like, okay, well, what do you do when you need an ounce and a half, right? You go to like four and, and then stop. Whereas with the four count, one ounce shot, every one of those counts is one quarter of an ounce. Does that make sense? So a quarter, half, three quarters, one ounce. Four count, one ounce shot. So if you have an ounce and a half, you just tack on two more. So an ounce and a half is a six count. Two ounces, so four count and a four count, two full ounces, eight count, and so on and so forth. So you can add and subtract ingredients 
in quarter ounce or one count increments. And that's how your drinks go up and down is in quarter ounce increments. Most of your drinks are either going to be one ounce, an ounce and a half, some are ounce and three quarters or two ounces, but most of them are one or one and a half. So four count or a six count. So now that we got all our stuff here, um, you could just, like I said, learn with water. So I'm just going to fill these things with water and put these pour spouts on here. And first, I'm going to start with the ball bearing just to kind of show you the pace at which these things are counting because that's pretty much the same one that you're going to use. And this is the shot glass. Now, this it's kind of hard to see. I'll show my other camera over here. The little line on the glass is one ounce. So again, when they have ball bearings, it'll stop at one ounce. So here's my shot glass. Pour this in there. Click and it stops right at one ounce. Now, this thing pours a little bit slower than some of these. Now, your, your pour spouts are manufactured to pour at the same speed. They're supposed to pour at the same speed, but as you'll see as you start working, some manufacturers pour a little bit faster or slower than others. One, two, three, four. So that four count, right at that line, one ounce. So now that we kind of got a feel for it, let's take this thing off and just go freestyle. Now it's going to be that same, one, two, three, four count, one ounce shot. So what you want to do is get to the point where you can pour this without needing to use a little measuring device. So one, two, three, four. Pour a couple of those just to get the speed. And when you're pouring these things, <clears throat> You don't have to like have your hands straight up and down. These things pour at an actual angle. Let me show you. So if I grab a glass here, if I pour this thing straight up and down, you'll notice that there's a slight angle on it. It's so that you can kind of have it half cocked, but what you want is vertical stream of alcohol. So when you're pouring on here, you want a vertical stream of alcohol, because if it's not, then it's not pouring at the full rate of speed, so your count's going to be off. So vertical stream of alcohol when you're pouring, and the kind of the grip, and you'll work up to two bottles, but your grip is basically hold it kind of like if your hands are out in front of you, hold your bottles like this, and then just rotate. So you just twist your wrist. And people kind of struggle with like getting the feel and they make it harder than it really is. But just grip it and turn it over and it doesn't have to be straight up and down. So because of the angle of the course valve, you'll be alright. What you're going to want to do is just practice that a few times. So again, get a shot glass that has a one ounce measurement on there. And just pour, just pour a couple to get your counting down. One, two, three, four. Then, once you're comfortable with that, you want to pour into a glass, no ice, that doesn't have any measurements, so you have to count. One, two, three, four. And then measure in your shot glass, or if you have a jigger, whatever. Make sure that you're coming out with your counts right at that line for one ounce. So there you go. That's how you count. And remember, every count is one quarter of an ounce. So as you need to add and subtract amounts, they go in quarter ounce increments or counts. Right? So practice that. Uh, work on ounce, ounce and a half, and then you can also start to get crazy with two ounce pours. Now, after you've got that down, you want to be ambidextrous as a bartender. Your speed as a bartender comes from making a good drink as fast as possible. So all you have to do to be a fast bartender is know your drinks, which we'll talk about that later, and then be able to use two hands constantly. 
So go into a bar that's busy and watch the bartenders. They're, both of their hands are constantly moving. They never stop moving. So you need to be ambidextrous as a bartender. So after you have your right hand or left hand or whatever, after you have your dominant hand, your four count, you want to practice with your non-dominant hand. Strangely enough, it's going to be that same four count, one ounce shot. So just work with your non-dominant hand. One, two, three, four. Pouring one ounce shots, measuring those out until you can get to a one ounce shot, pouring with your opposite hand. Then, once you have your non-dominant hand, then you want to do double fisted fury. So you want to do two bottles in the same glass to get one ounce. Now, because we're using two bottles to get one ounce, we only need a half ounce from each bottle, right? Because half ounce and half ounce is going to be one ounce. So half ounce is a two count. Remember, each count is one quarter of an ounce. So we're going to do a two count out of each of these bottles. One, two. And it's a fast two. It's quicker than you might think. Then pour that in there. Measure out. Just a hair under. So if you're a little bit under, count a little bit slower. If you're over, which normally we will be at first, then count a little bit faster. Then one, two. Pour that on in there. And there you go. There's your one ounce shot. Two bottles into one glass to get one ounce. Now the other thing is you'll see sometimes bartenders go like with a Long Island iced tea, a cocktail that has four different or sometimes five different alcohols just depending on how they make it at the bar. And you'll see them grab two bottles with this hand and then they'll grab two bottles with the other hand and pour them all at the same time. And I know it looks really cool and fancy, but unless you have like big ass hands, it's really hard to do. And it's not that much faster because you have to like grab them both and then pour, and then you got to put them all back. I have challenged many bartenders to, I can pour them just as fast, two bottles at a time. So if you got big hands, practice it. So you'd want to open up your hands real wide and put one in between your thumb and your forefinger, and then the second bottle in between your forefinger and your middle finger. And hold them so that you make sure the pour spots are kind of pointing in the same direction and just turn it over like that. And then you can practice the same thing with your left hand. And again, your counts are still the same. One count equals one quarter of an ounce. So keep that in mind always. So you don't really have to do this. This is a little bit more of a kind of a showboating maneuver. Uh, but if your hands are big enough and strong enough, then go for it. Just be warned that if these things are full and your hands aren't very big and you try to do that, you're going to tweak your freaking fingers. It's going to hurt. So I would concentrate first on one, two, and two at the same time and worry about that later. So this will literally take you like five minutes to figure out. Really simple. You don't have to go spend $500 at a bartending school to learn how to do this. You can do it right in your own kitchen, in your own house. So real, real, real basic. And all these pour spouts, like I said, should pour about the same speed. Your liquors are all gonna pour at the same speed. So as soon as you get this down, bam, you're pouring like a pro. And that's how bartenders can know exactly how much they're putting into drinks without using a measuring device. Okay, so now you know one of the biggest secrets and one of the just most basic skill sets necessary to be a working bartender. All right, so practice that until you get comfortable and then you'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, that's it for now. You got lots of stuff to practice. I'll see you next time.